Today we're going to be talking about better piezo sounds. So if you struggle with bad piezo sounds on stage with your acoustic guitar, we might have five really interesting pedals for you today. All five pedals approach the same thing in a different way, which is very interesting. And also all five are on a budget, so under 100 euros. Let's start with Tease Electronic Body Raz. The body res has uh, some filters and some compression going on inside. Um, so it's not IRs and it's not just an EQ. It's a bit more complex than it. And with the only knob uh, on the top, you can decide if you want to have the imaginary body of the guitar smaller or bigger, which changes the EQ curve, obviously. You also can mute your guitar signal if you stay on it starts to blink and then you can unplug your guitar's cable and uh, put it down, swap guitars, whatever you want. Cool, next one. Everyone, this is Mike from X5. It is a total different animal. This pedal works with IRs, different guitars. Um, depending on where you set your knob, you have 10 different voicings. Um, the last is an exception. The last one is just a buffer, but otherwise one until nine on this only knob will simulate different guitars recorded with the same ribbon mic. So it's a... Uh, a totally unique approach. Setting number four sounded best with this guitar. It obviously reacts to the pickup and the guitar you're using. So um, I found that's, that's pretty cool. Let's check it out. Next is the Artec Acoustic EQ. It's pretty old school compared to the first two. It's not digital, it's not you know, spooky. It's just an EQ and an active uh, preamp in it. So um, you probably know by now what it can do. It has a three-band EQ and a volume, and it works pretty well to um, get rid of that sparkly piezo treble. So um, I just play it for you. Fourth pedal is the Behringer V-Tone Acoustic ADI-21. I'm done. It is digital, it simulates a preamp and a tube circuitry. So um, it's a bit more than just your EQ or preamp or whatever. It um, was pretty simple to set this one up. I was very surprised because 21 is not only in the name, it actually costs 21 euros, which is crazy. And um, it does sound very good. Fifth pedal is the Harley Benton Custom Line Acoustic Preamp, which is black. And it also has reverb and chorus built into it and a tuner out. Let's check it out. Before I start blabbering about how I felt playing these pedals and how they sounded here in the room, let's hear them in a direct comparison.
All right, so my impressions. First one was the body res uh, from TC Electronic. It doesn't change the sound radically, but it makes it prettier, I guess, a little more um, spread out and less piezo-like, if that makes any sense. The body knob is nice. It gives you more bass and treble if you turn it right, like clockwise, and um, sort of focuses the sound when the body gets smaller. So um, it's a, a very nice and easy to use pedal. The X5 mic is uh, very creative. I love the fact that they use IRs. Um, with this guitar, I found like two settings that work pretty well, like right away. And the rest was like, uh, it's too nasal, too bassy, uh, just a little weird. Uh, but we definitely found two very nice sounds. Um, and out of this two, four was my favorite. This is what you heard. It's, um, it's interesting, but I would recommend testing this with your setup before um, deciding to get one because you never know. Maybe you find three cool sounds. Maybe there's none that fits your expectations. So creative, I like it. Acoustic EQ from Artec. Um, it is what it is, no big surprises. It's a three band EQ, a phase switch and a volume. Um, I didn't love the mid frequency that the knob uh, kind of modifies. Um, but it was nice just under 12 o'clock. And the treble is very nice because it reacts right on that piezo frequency. So it's very nice to unpiezo your piezo pickup, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so uh, the brown pedal. This is the V-Tone Acoustic ADI from Behringer, which sounded surprisingly awesome. I'll be honest. It was a big aha for me when I turned on. Um, sound is awesome. I wouldn't trust it on stage though. First of all, it's plastic and the knob is also plastic. And um, I could imagine this having some weird things going on on a rough, you know, stage. So um, yeah, the sound is awesome though. And it nearly costs as much as your chewing gum. So it's crazy. And last but not least, the Harley Benton, which is again, an acoustic preamp and, and uh, DI. Uh, box. So um, the ni nice things are the reverb and the chorus on board. They are a little too modulated for my tastes. And um, nice is to have a shape thing which changes the mid range, sort of scoops the mids. And the phase is nice to have, of course, if you use it in conjunction with other pickups or a proper mic in front of a guitar, can solve all those problems. Ground lift also very nice, uh, just in case. Yeah, it kind of does a lot and it's not stupidly expensive and it's black, so it's cool, I guess. Thanks very much for watching. Let us know if we forgot something, if there is something you love using with your acoustic guitar with a piezo pickup in it. Um, or let us know if you want to see a non-budget version of this video, because there are some crazy stuff out there uh, from Fishman, Layla, um, LR Bags, etc, etc. You guys take it easy. See you down there in the comment section. Don't forget about the bell and the subscribe button and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Yeah.